Hi guys, I'm Bobsy and I made a free tool for you guys to save and load data easily. This tool can store floats, in strings, vectors and rotations which is stored as quaternions. So let me show you how it works. First I just have these three cubes where I can save and load data. So let's for example uh, save the position and rotation of this one cube and then let's reset its rotation and let's move it around a bit on the position. And now once I click load data, you'll see it's back. I can also do it with this test float. I can write, for example, 10 here, click save, and then I can write 200 and click load. You'll see it jump back to 10. So let me go through how you do this yourself. So let me just set up a test save script and let me make a new object for us to test with. So now I have this cube up here that I'll be using to test save file. So first of all, let's set a save functionality. So let's make a void save and let's say what do we want to save let's say it's the position and the rotation of the cube so i'll simply do save manager dot set vector which will be the position in this case now it needs a key it needs some way to know what the object is now the key could be many things it could be the name if you know you named them uniquely it could be the instance id or it could be something else that you want to use to recognize this object with in my case i'm just going to use the name because they have unique names I'm just going to do game object dot name, and then the variable that we want to save, which is the transform position. Now I also wanted to save the rotation, so let's do save manager dot set rotation, and let's once again use the game object dot name because I want to recognize it by this, and let's do transform dot rotation, and now I can just do save manager dot save, and it will now store it to a file. This is basically what you do to actually store it to a file. So this pretty much saves it locally in the game, and this saves it uh, in your files. Now let's make a load. So now I have the level load. We basically do the reverse thing of what we just did. So I'm going to save manager.load. So now we just load the data from the file. And now we can use it to actually set our parameters again. So let me do transform.position equals to save manager.getVector. And the vector we wanted was with the game object that name. And we also got to give it some default value, which is in case that no nothing is actually saved here it will have something to go to, which in my case will just be vector 3.0. And we can also just do the same with transform.rotation. Or we can just use save manager.getRotation gameobject.name and quaternion.identity, which is the same as vector 3.0, just for quaternions. And this should basically work. So now let's set it up really quickly so I can actually activate it. I have something luckily that is called eButtons, which I found on the asset store, super useful which you can use to easily set up buttons in the inspector. So I'm just going to use this, set this up. Back out in Unity, you'll see I have the save and load functionality. So let's start the game. And let me press save on the position and rotation now. And then let's just mess it up really quickly. Let's do 30, 70, 5, 5, 5, whatever. And I can hit load. And you'll see it'll jump right back to where it was before. And it just works. It's as easy as that. It requires nothing more than what I've just done here. You just need to pretty much set the values, save them to a file. And then when you want to load, you simply get the file and set the values again. Now, I really hope this tool can be useful to some of you. That would be uh, the best thing that can happen to me because the tool is completely free. Now it is on the asset store, but if you are watching this video within a month, it takes about a month for an asset to actually get released on the asset store. Uh, so there'll be a Google link instead to a download, which I've uploaded. So I, I promise you there's no virus, no nothing. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just hope that you have a wonderful day.